イナルギア Hey everyone, Shin Virtuality here, and we are looking at a fairly new game, Final Gear. Metal Gear? No, Final Gear. Um, sort of side-scrolling, cartoony, mech driving action. Um, we'll see if this video makes the light of day because, uh, personal note, my computer oh, decided to take a little bit of a meltdown. Uh, and that's where I do all my editing, so, um, well, you know what, I wanted to play this and sort of get into it, and I've been waiting around for an opportune time to show you guys, so we're going to get into it. So this game is sort of like a, um, female pilots, uh, driving mechs, uh, along a 2D side-scrolling uh, action, uh, sort of long range or up close with melee, uh, and fully customizationable, uh, customizable mech situation um, for your ladies. And we'll sort of get into that in a moment. So sort of checking all the boxes as far as uh, the coolness factor, I think. Uh, so we're going to get into it. I think the biggest thing about this game is the fact that you can customize quite a bit here. So click on the pilots. You've got your team of ladies and we'll try pulling for some more in a moment. Uh, in each of them will pilot these mechs, mech suits. Uh, so let's, who do we want to change up here? Let's go with this one. Uh, let's change. Uh, so maybe we need this one. So she'll get into her mech there. Yeah, and you have customizable parts for the arms, legs, front, and back. So we got these super rare parts, which we are going to equip immediately. Um, that's where we are. Not going to let me. certain level, which is a shame because I really wanted to sort of show off that new suit. But you know what? Uh, it's not much we can do about it. All right, let's 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 change this back to what it was. Uh, and then let's change her back to... What I want to do is I want to actually put on uh, the super that she had before. So... Arms, front, back, legs, and then the back area. And I think if you sort of do them all of the same sort of group, uh, then you have this chance to activate. And then your mech becomes super powerful. So that's sort of your driving motivation for collecting these parts and sort of making sure that they're all of the same type. Now, if you want to mix and match and just sort of run the numbers, um, I haven't been playing this game enough to know if that's sort of how it's supposed to operate, but you know what? I'm gonna, you know, uh, fake ignorance and say, hey, maybe you can go either way. But that's always nice. Uh, you know what? 
I don't know if I want to. Well, I do want to play with super rare people, but uh, I need some more parts, obviously, so. Let me change. sort of is along the lines of what you would expect in any other games. Green for regular, blue for rare, purple for super rare, and probably, you know, bigger, brighter colors for, like, ultimates or legendaries or what have you. Uh, so what do we have here? And then that's our sniper. And I believe that's our shield unit. Okay, well, looks good enough anyway. Just gotta find out where all the uh, the recruit. That's what. So the cool thing about the recruit is that you can actually um, get some new recruits just by um, going to a specific region, queuing them up, and just waiting for them to sort of meet the time requirements. So since I started this earlier today, we got ourselves a rare. Person that is new, Esmeralda. <laughs> and another new, another new rare person. So let's now that we've emptied up, I said all you need to do is go to a certain region, and start recruitment. Uh, oh, no, we're missing crystals. Alright, so I guess you can't... I guess I used up all my stuff. So we'll just leave it alone for now. What we will do... I should have enough. I think I have 10 tickets to do some 10 pulls. Special Novice Recruitment. Well, you know what? Let's just hit the 10 times here, see what happens, and just give you an idea of what the pull mechanics are like for this. Uh, yes, we want to do this. And we got some special ones right off the bat, so nice to see. Uh, so we'll go through each of these ones in turn, uh, but just let me know if uh, you catch something a little bit, uh, I don't know, out of the ordinary. Super, super rare. Superior, super rare. Nice. I'll take it. Oh. And I guess for the new ones, they'll just sort of play the animation. I don't know why they have to zero in on the ladies' chests and um, crotches before showing you who you got, but Alright, well, 
interesting. And then we got some. Uh, I'll confirm that. Uh, do we have? I guess that's enough of that one. Recruitment. Does that just go into? Oh, did I just <laughs> blow some money on that? You know what? Whatever. Let's see what we got. More ladies to pil pilot our mechs with. Whatever. Why are these why why are these some of these girls like underage? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> uh, let's just say the results. Uh, sure. Uh, okay, and then let's head back. And of course, with that, you get all sorts of stuff that you can collect. Um, the game doesn't seem to be shy about giving you any of the goodies. <laughs> no pun intended there. Um, so you'll get various um, items and, and currencies in order to continue your recruitments or build parts for the mechs and all that sort of stuff. Um, but without going uh, any further, let's get into some of the games here. Um, because that will be really the meat and potatoes of what you can expect out of Final Gear. Now I had started playing a little bit of this before. Um, I wanted to get a little bit into uh, the story just because um, it didn't seem to be very engaging, at least at the start. Uh, you were only piloting one, one character at a time. Uh, so I wanted to sort of get past that a little bit and see you know, if there was more meat to this. And there certainly is. Um, if my previous footage had survived the test of time, then maybe you'll see some of it here. Hello world. I've broken through the firewall. Uh-oh, tell me your name. <laughs> Enter your name or I won't unlock the bridge systems. Well, I guess I better input my name. How far out are we? I don't know. I just got here. Veronica, do you copy? Nope, not at all. Though no, I'm here. No signs of interference. Anime cat lady girl. <laughs> My, what big hands you have. Uh, wrong way! Uh, but without further ado, let's get into uh, the battle scenarios. Uh, so we'll enter the region. There is a way that you can um, go about uh, replaying old levels. And I'm going to replay the uh, Abandon All Hope 2-3 here, just because it seemed very interesting and I just wanted to point it out, point it out as well. So for whatever reason, you may have maps that uh, you have to sort of pull along and uh, confirm deployment. Yes, so there's my team. Um, pretty straightforward map of just going along here. Um, but I'm wondering if the maps will become a little bit more involved where you're sort of navigating various groups of mechs into the battlefield and sort of converging onto a single target. Who knows? But a uh, little anxious to see how everything comes along uh, later on once uh, you get into it a little bit and recruit uh, more mechs for various teams. 
So we're going to skip all the story bits for now. And then of course once you get close enough to an engagement, you're off and running. Again, we'll sort of skip the dialogue for now. Now, you'll control one of the four mechs while your three partners will sort of go about their business. Um, but you can, you click the double arrow between or just underneath your main character's page, you can switch out to a new character and then you control that mech on the battlefield so if you're feeling like you want to be the sniper just navigate to the sniper and you're off and running uh, and even the um, the shoe cursor um, well, mission is clear <laughs> before I even had a chance to explain Alright, next step. Uh, the shoot cursor is sort of set up in a left-right scenario, so if you wanted to shoot behind you, uh, say for instance if enemies are sort of coming in from behind, you can actually do that. So we'll get into our target here. Yes, we are about to approach. So we got a boss character here. And again, we'll start things off. Uh, I don't think I have the bomber with me. No, I guess it's more of a defense character, so... I'm going to switch back to... the one with the super armor, because I'm hoping that uh, we have some... we have the ability to show off some of our... Specials here. As uh, characters beat enemies, they start glowing. And then they have the ability to perhaps take out some of what some enemies on the field. Like that. Yes, I think I can just waltz in here. So now that I have my special queued up, I do like the fact that the higher level mechs do have some sort of animation going into that sort of stuff. Hard to tell where I am in all this mess. So let's reposition at least. And she surrenders because she's no match for our elite group of peoples. And of course, once you complete, you get various uh, items based on first clear recommendations and uh, if you meet all the objectives you get even more so let's confirm uh, so I'm gonna back out for a moment I may cut this part out but I want to see about getting um, there's a bomber unit that wasn't in my lineup for that particular one and it's sort of peculiar when you bring bombers onto the battlefield that I do want to show off as well so uh, let's see if I can get that going for us for the next battle. Okay, so it looks like that uh, I definitely need to get some more parts. So let's uh, play a couple more missions here and give you guys a little bit more of a taste of the game. Uh, this looks like it's a defense mission, so... I think this is the first time I've actually done one of these. We'll start her up and see 
what we need to do. Okay, so yeah, our base is down there, and then we got a couple of people coming in. Gotcha. So, confirm deployment. And so, what do we need to... Oh, the battle. I see. Alright. So, let's... Can... Oh. <laughs> trying to talk to me on the upper right hand corner here, and I'm just not paying them any attention. But there's two groups of units, so let's see if we can take them out quickly before they reach our base. Uh, okay, so now that we have a bomber unit, we can actually position where bombs are going to go using the aiming cursor, or I guess firing cursor at this point. So it is an interesting mechanic as well, and sort of keeps things fresh. If you want to stay back and lob bombs, then you're, you're more than able to do that. But I'm going to switch back to a close and personal person. Take that. Mission clear. Engage the enemy. hectic you can turn on the auto battle button but you know what I do like to play a little bit of my game here so we'll leave that alone for now oh I see you want to play too seem to seem to be missing you off the side of the screen no matter uh, oh. <laughs> I meant to actually change to her because I wasn't playing much of her before. And I think this character here is more of a tanky type character. They really want us to turn on this auto battler button. But I say no. Uh, so, yeah, this character I think is a defender, so she'll be more tanky in battle. And another mission clear. Uh, 
Alright, so I leveled up to level 6. And we get another underage girl to add to our collection. <laughs> uh, and some parts. Well, at least the parts look like they all go together, so... Uh, let's see if we can't... Uh, uh, let's see if we can't do a little bit more escort mission. Alright, let me see if I can do anything with the mech parts that we had just received. Uh, and we'll come back in for that final escort mission. So we got some demolisher parts and now we've built ourselves a demolisher unit to bring out. So let's see how well that will be able to handle. I see, so we'll confirm our deployment, we'll enter the battle, and I guess we have to... Oh, again, Veronica's trying to talk too much. Uh, ambush en route, so make. All right. No, no, no! Come on! Oh. <laughs> Everybody started without me. <laughs> Alright, well, let's see if we can do this. Uh, so let's switch out to our demolisher. I do like the, um, the 2D graphics, but as you can see, like the battlefield may get a little bit uh, too cluttered. Um, but I guess if you're overpowered, this shouldn't ever really be a problem. <laughs> I guess you just gotta keep up with uh, the fact of um, you know keeping your units leveled up, and I'm sure there's I didn't really hit any sort of leveling for. Press the super here. I didn't see any sort of ability to level up the gears, although I'm sure that is also something that they can do. Mission clear. Right. Next step for everyone. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. Run behind. Let's just hope it doesn't uh, cause a problem for for a convoy. And so far, the battlefields just seem to be these uh, vacant deserted plains, so I'm hoping that they get a little bit more buried the deeper in we get. With this, uh, having some terrain or cover or something of the like might be pretty cool to experience. Ooh, that was handy. Alright, I'm terrible. Uh, controls are a little sticky as well. I don't know what it is with the uh, with the directional pad, but it doesn't seem to want to go at times. All right, off to the next one. Let's hope we can get there before anything happens. Oh, there you is. There you is. Let's get this done. Well, <laughs> make short work of them. Alright, 
Trying to uh, move my unit here, and it just doesn't seem to want to go. Know who you're messing with here. All right. And complete. We already picked up Roxanne in a different. Uh, Oh, she was one of my actual um, uh, recruitments from the uh, timed ones, so that's fine. And more mech parts, so gotta love that. And I think that will do it. That should give you an idea of what to expect out of Final Gear. Um, like I said, I'm sort of enjoying what this has to offer, and uh, probably will keep up with it for a little bit just to see where it goes. Uh, I do like the customization of the units and the fact that uh, you can sort of switch between them on the fly just to sort of see, you know, do you want to be up close? Do you want to be long range? Um, you know, play to your own, to your own suits, I guess. <laughs> Metal suits. Um, but that's it for this. If this looks like something that you'd be interested in, you'll find it for free on the Play Stores. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button, leave me a comment, or subscribe. Oh yeah, I'm speaking here! Um, <laughs> or subscribe to my channel for more mobile gaming goodness, because you'll never know what we'll be playing next. This has been Shin Virtuality. Game on, have fun, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye now. Yes, yes they are.